Hello, I'm John with Roadkill Incorporated, where you can sell me your broken MacBook, you can buy a refurbished MacBook, you can ask me hardware-related MacBook repair questions, all sorts of stuff. You can find all of that at rdklinc.com. So anyway, today I want to talk about removing the bezel from a model A1342 white unibody MacBook. Uh, this is a common uh, MacBook from 2009-2010. Uh, uh, the bezel, the plastic bezel around the screen often gets kind of cracked up, uh, discolored, uh, you know, and for those reasons will commonly need to be replaced uh, for aesthetic reasons mostly. And then the other reason to replace or remove that bezel is to access the webcam, which resides right under here. And uh, the webcams on these can be a little bit flaky. Um, Sometimes you'll go to uh, Skype or whatever, and it'll say, you know, no, uh, no camera connected. Um, so the thing to do in that case is to remove the bezel, uh, take out the webcam, disconnect it, reconnect it. Sometimes it's just a connection issue. Sometimes reconnecting it will bring the signal back. If not, then you would want to replace the webcam. And if replacing the webcam does not do it, it could either be the internal cable that's at fault or the board. Sometimes the board uh, actually is at fault in such a way that it cannot receive a signal from a webcam. But um, in this troubleshooting process, obviously the first step is to just disconnect and reconnect the webcam. So to remove the bezel, very easy. Um, I just take a pair of tweezers, my favorite repair tool of all time, and you basically just jam it in there between the bezel and the uh, back of the screen casing. You want to be kind of gentle. You don't want to gouge the plastic because there's no, there's no going back if you, if you do gouge it. Uh, just pull it out a little bit like that to the point where you can reach in there and pull away. So from this point on, you can use your fingers. Just pull, pull lightly. This bezel has been removed um, before, so it's probably coming away a little easier than yours, if you haven't removed yours. So you'll notice there are these little white holes. They correspond to these little plastic tabs that come out here. So if you're putting this bezel back on, you want to make sure to get those aligned and then feel that sort of clicking sensation when they go back in. So once you get it down to about that part, you want to pull up from the corner. And you want to be careful not to bend the uh, bezel at any point, because if you bend it, it can crease and once it creases, that, that you're done. You can't really uncrease that completely. And there you go. So there's the bezel. I'll put that aside. And as you can see, it's just it's just taped on. That's that's really all there is. And you don't really need to apply more tape when you put it back on. By the way, it's it's pretty strong stuff. So as long as you, you know, uh, press it hard and, and sort of reseal it, uh, you'll be all right. So here's the webcam itself. Very simple. It's, it's not glued in or screwed in. It's just sitting there um, connected to this cable. You'll notice there are holes on either side of it, and those correspond to two little tabs that come out here. So again, when you're putting the bezel back on, make sure that those holes and those tabs line up and that you get that click when you put it back on because that's what holds the web that's literally what holds the webcam in place it's it's just sort of dangling here so what you'd want to do is just pull the cable out and there's the webcam itself very small device if you need another one of these if you determine that it is a bad webcam um, you can get them on eBay for like three or four dollars. I'm lucky because I have hundreds of these computers. Um, I can just, just pull out a different one. Um, so like I said, first step would just be to disconnect and then reconnect. There's a little uh, piece of padding here that kind of blocks the vision of that. Then you can just stick this back in. I won't put the bezel all the way back on, but basically you want to make sure that this cable, there's a little sort of 
groove that this the webcam cable goes into, you want to make sure the cable is in that groove. Otherwise, putting the bezel back on will be a little difficult. You want to start the bezel in reverse, so you want to put it back on at the bottom. Like I said, I won't do this completely, but you basically just want to crease it or press it against the uh, the frame, press it up here, and then, like I said, make sure that these uh, the holes and the tabs line up and that you get a nice click as you uh, put the bezel back on. So that's basically it. Uh, very common, very simple repair for these machines. Um, this machine is almost 10 years old, but it's still uh, very relevant uh, because it still goes to um, up to High Sierra. It still uh, is a functional Core 2 Duo that takes eight, eight gigs of RAM um, and has a pretty good GPU in it. So um, it's still a, still a very functional machine and the recyclers are still getting millions of them. I, I anticipate they'll probably uh, keep getting uh, lots of them for the next couple of years at least before these machines end up being obsolete. But um, very important low-end machines, so these common repairs are good to know if you are in the uh, refurbishing world. So that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Again, um, check me out at rdklinc.com. If you have any old uh, broken MacBooks uh, sitting around, I will buy those from you. So thank you.